And uh, just a few moments ago, we had Luke Bryan sit down with us, and now Mr. Cole Swindell. Yes, yeah. yeah, the first night, you know, I, I was just anxious to see, you know, to walk out and be in front of you know, 20,000 people, whatever it is. It's, it's a little uh, overwhelming. I had a big show. Um, this, this month, a couple of weeks ago down in Georgia, and uh, it sold out. There was like 600 folks there. So at the time, that was the biggest, you know, biggest thing I had going on. And then I get a phone call from Luke and my manager, Kerry, asking if I'd be interested in uh, filling in and, and opening up the Dirt Road Diaries tour. You had to think I'd, about that a little while? I'd, I'd, I'd had to butt pull over the truck. Girl, you tearing that dance floor up. Let me see you do it in the bed of my truck. You sure know how to shake it all right. Let me see you do it in the Tennessee moonlight. Whoa, baby, let's go down a little road. Nobody else knows. Just me and you parked on the edge of the world. That's how I want to see you, girl. So this is a huge deal for me to be on this tour, filling in for Thompson Square. and. Uh, to have somebody like Luke, you know, be the headliner and, and somebody you've looked up to, you know, and just a huge influence on your music. I mean, I couldn't ask to be on a, any other tour out there. Places packed and the drinks are flowing, band on stage, just getting rolling. But she's looking like the rock star, yeah, the real deal party don't start. It's overwhelming and it's, it's a huge honor to be out here and it's crazy to see the fans reaction you know I, I didn't know what to think I knew you know I was gonna be up in the Northeast and I'm from down south and you know I knew there was gonna be people that didn't know who I was but that's what is exciting about this to get in front of the people that you don't have a chance to get in front of and play your music and that's that's why I'm here and that's why I do what I do so to have new fans and gain new fans every night is something that I would have never been able to do without you know Luke asking me to do this. Love the song. What y'all doing? You never know what's up. Ready, right? You have to be ready when these opportunities come You up. do, and that's the thing. I mean I you know somebody told me the other day luck, you know, you gotta create your own luck and this this isn't lucky. I I honestly I've been putting in work and and to be ready, like you said, at, at this time is it's it's all about the timing and I've been so fortunate with songs getting cut and and you know, just interest in record labels, and it's all working at the at the right time for me. And uh, I just, my team around me is great, and it's just it's just exciting to be here. Oh, come on with me, girl. Yeah, you're tearing that dance floor up. Now let me see you do it in the bed of my truck. You sure know how to shake it all right. Let me see you do it in the Camden moonlight. Whoa, baby, let's go down a little road. Nobody else knows. Just me and you parked on the edge of the world. And that's how I want to see you, girl. I mean, I, obviously, Cole and I have spent, you know, a, a lot of time together. You know, you want to help them through the little tough things that you encountered and, and, and you know it's just kind of the country way of life you know it's like help your neighbor you know by now all my fans know that me and luke are close and uh you know i never pass up a chance to thank him it's uh, you know i don't know that i'll ever he'll ever know how thankful i am for this he gave me my first job when i moved to nashville out on the road doing merch and he's been along for every step of the way and, and been a huge supporter and not everybody can say that somebody that, you know, that has influenced their music and what they love to do is, is a fan of their music as well. And, and to know that is it's just the ultimate accomplishment for, for somebody like me. And I'm just proud to be here and uh, just thankful to, to have good friends like him. Hey, when the girls walk by, we'll be like, hey, if we get it right, they'll be like, hey, Swindell Vision? Yes. <laughs> Alright, everyone in Swindell Vision, this is called Swindell and Nick. This is his first show on the Dirt Road Diaries yes. tour. And, uh,
pretty sure he's gonna destroy people out there. So uh, it's gonna be awesome. Support Cole. Download it. Chilling it. Do it. Chilling it. Thank you, Kent. That was awesome. Very well done. Back to you, Mike. What is this? Cold Swindle Swindle vision? vision? Yeah. Gosh, I'm a little nervous to be I'm, honest with I'm you. I'm a little nervous. Man. I got my shades up. He's got a shade. The shades on. They're not on yet. Top back. It's all right. That's what Rolling doing. with the music. Jacked. Jacked. No, I'm so fired up and could not. I could not ask for anybody better to open up for than Florida Georgia Line and Luke. So it's. It's about to be a blast. I'm about to see if I've learned anything from it. It's gonna it. be a party. Woo! Party on it. I can't shake it, girl. I'm wide awake. So if you're feeling what I'm feeling, let's mix it up. You got my number, baby. Hit me up. If you need a little late night, pick me up. I hope you get lonely tonight. We ain't got so one of the songs we've been doing in our set out here on the Dirt Road Diaries tour is a song called Hope You Get Lonely Tonight that I wrote with Tyler Hubbard and Brian Kelly and Michael Carter. You know, having FGL on the tour and then me opening up the show doing a song we wrote together. I think fans are, are digging it and I just, it's the first time they're hearing it. Nobody's even heard the song uh, other than live and we just started playing it. So it's, it's cool. It's one of my favorites. Girl, if you're feeling what I'm feeling, let's mix it up. Baby, hit me up. If you need a little late night, pick me up. I hope you get lonely tonight. We gotta make up, just kiss me. And this is one of the biggest tours out there, and to get the call to fill in for, you know, a great band like Thompson Square is, uh, it's, I don't even know that I can fathom that right now, but it's, it's been a blast, and I know it's, I mean, you can't learn on a bigger stage than this. You know, you, you know you're walking into thousands of people that, some of them have heard of you, some of them are wondering why you're on the show, you know, and if you got them dancing and, and their hands waving and all that, that means they're enjoying it, and that's all you can do as a new artist is, you know, give people their money's worth, and, you know, like, I'm fortunate to be out here, but, you know, I have a job to do just like FGO and Luke, and that's what we're here to do, to put on the best show we can and get them ready for the for the big dogs. You got me high on kisses, you got me missing signs, hard looking left when my world is on my right. I got my shades on top, back rolling with the music jack, one on the wheel, one around you, baby. Hey y'all, just got off stage here in Boston. This was the uh, fourth show of the run, the last one, and uh, what an awesome time, awesome crowd. Thank you fans for coming out and, and supporting me. and. and you know, I'm just filling in for Thompson Square right now, and uh, I wish wish Kiefer the best, and hopefully uh, his voice is, is back better, and he's out here rocking with y'all on the Dirt Road Diaries tour. But thanks for letting me be a part of it, for if only just for a little while. And uh, thank you, Luke, for, for always being there for me and uh, having me out here on your tour, buddy. You rock. Love y'all. Pour it on easy now. Don't spill a bit. Nothing but time tonight. Let's get